pretty darn good. Hi, I'm Greg Ovens, and this is Ovens Rocky Mountain Bushcraft. Because the parent bird came here and then I seen him, right? It's interesting. Here I have <laughs> lots of mosquitoes in my face. So this video is called Catch and Cook Blueberry Pie on the Rocks. The first uh, berry I'll show you is the dwarf blueberries. They're quite a bright blue in color. They're quite sweet. They make good pie, good wine as well. They do like sunny areas. They don't grow as well in shade, but they're very bright blue, you can see. They don't grow very tall, uh, 8 to 12 inches usually. This one's about 8 inches. It's got a lot of berries though. So this is one of our choices. But I'm going to show you the berry that I prefer next. Okay, so down here, these are called oval leafed blueberries. Now you notice they're almost black. They're uh, a lot bigger. These are about four feet high almost so they get a lot taller and they are a lot sweeter than the other blueberries now these are going to be my favorite for the pie because they're sweeter and they're bigger so this is what we're going to go with for our pie i might make a crisp we'll see or a crumble they call it uh, crumble we have both types of blueberries that we find in this area dwarf blueberries which are a great berry don't get me wrong, they're all good berries. And we have our oval leafed blueberries. And you can see the difference in color between the two. One is a bright blue, one is almost black. You can always tell a blueberry from a huckleberry. Anybody that knows the red huckleberries knows that they're kind of sour. The blue huckleberries, which I'm going to show you just in a second here, are sour like the red huckleberries. But these are my preference. They're sweet, they're good. But like I say, they're all good. Depends on what you want to do. They all make good pie. They all make good wine. So here we have blue huckleberries. I'll take the camera and zoom up on the plant so you can get a better look at the plant as well. But those are blue huckleberries. Sour. You try them? Sour. Oh, ugh, very sour. Some of them. Not like a blueberry. Total different taste. But what I find is that these uh, blue huckleberries, even the red huckleberries, actually make a better wine than the blueberries. Whereas, say, the oval leaf blueberries make a better pie. But I love all these berries and lots of other berries that are found here in the forest in the Rocky Mountains as well. Yeah, it looks like uh, the bear that was here was eating berries too. I see berry seeds in there. I'm not the only one that likes the berries. Okay, well I had to put the blue huckleberries in with the oval leafed blueberries. You see how the huckleberries are a little bigger than the dwarf blueberries. This is one here, but basically the same color. So as far as color goes, hard to tell them apart. Dwarf blueberries, sweet. Blue huckleberries, sour. A lot of times I'll just mix them all together because they're all good anyways. Doesn't matter. They're all good. Me and Zach missed out on the blueberries, but now they're ready. Gonna make a pie.
my thrill on Blue Valley Hill. So, before I go uh, blueberry picking tomorrow, I'm going to cook a steak here on the fire using this flat rock that I've heated up quite well. I'm going to test it, make sure it's hot enough. But here's the steak for you. Ha! Actually, they called it a prime rib roast. It's like that thick, almost three inches thick. That's what I call a steak. But I mean, after doing that 30 day challenge with Zach Fowler, I mean, I want to eat good. That's a steak, man. No, oh, that's hot. This thing's cherry red. Well, the steak's almost ready. Took a while. Looking good though. Sounding good and looking good. A hot flat rock, I mean that's the best. I think that's done. Oh, that's good. That is good. That is just the perfect job from that piece of meat. Just perfect. Okay, better than that. So it's day two of making the blueberry pie. I'm going to make today a birch bark basket to pick the berries in. Need some dog bane. Make some cordage for my basket. Weave it together, put a handle on it. Some of it's already starting to turn color.
One thing I should mention is I just took the outer layer of the tree. This won't kill the tree despite what some people think. And I also chose a tree that looks like it's uh, dying as it is. I try to be a bit of a conservationist that way. Even when I'm picking uh, wild plants, I won't pick every plant. I'll leave some for seed. You got to be a bit of a conservationist nowadays, that's for sure. Got my dog bean. Birch bark. I don't know which way I'm going to put it. But this is the smooth side. I think I'll go this way. At least the smooth side will be in. Anyways, leave your comments below. You like it this way? Or do you like it this way? First thing to do is make some cordage from the dog bane. That's the first thing. It's common. Now I'll tell you what. Something I'm gonna tell you right now. I'm not a basket maker like Carly or Callie or Megan from my show, that's for sure. As long as it works, I don't care. Making baskets and stuff is an art in itself. I never said I was great at it, but I can make baskets at work. Can't be good at everything. <laughs> Kind of got a natural bend that way, so I'm probably better just to push it in this way. That fits pretty nice in the bottom. I just got to put a stick probably just in the middle at the bottom just to hold the weight so it doesn't fall. I'll be picking all my berries and the bottom will fall right out and I'll lose all my berries. I won't be happy with that, but I'm happy. Good to go. I'd rather be picking berries than making baskets anyway. See, now the bottom can't fall out. No gaps too big for the berries to fall out. Make things that work. Try to keep them simple. They don't have to be fancy. I mean, if I had the time and I'm just sitting around for hours with nothing to do, 
I'd worry about making a fancy basket, but I just need one that's going to work. So I could just uh, use leaves or something, but part of the video is just showing you how to make a simple basket. That's all you need. Good enough for a handle. Tell you, these mosquitoes have sure been a nuisance this year. Just drive me insane. Definitely strong enough. Nothing, nothing stronger than dog bane for a plant fiber. There's a couple they say that are pretty good too. Milkweed, stinging nettle, but I find it uh, dog bane about as strong as it gets. It's amazing. You can have a piece of dog bane. The thickness of a thread, and you can't break it with your hands. But mind you, it has to be dried. Once it dries, it's five times stronger than when it's green. That'll do. Like, you, you would never break this by hand. Arnold Schwarzenegger, in his prime, wouldn't be able to break that thread. <laughs> Come on, I can break your neck like a chicken. I think I just about have enough. Some of them aren't quite as ripe as I would like. Got a fair amount. It's enough for a pie, I'm pretty sure. I could pick a few more, we'll see. I remember days like this, when my father took me into the forest and we ate wild blueberries. I'm trying to get this uh, video completed about cooking the pie. And you know what? I gotta be honest with you. I've never made a pie, ever. But I've cooked with rocks. I got a nice bunch of rocks here. Have to make an oven to cook this pie. Um, I just got some flour, butter, oatmeal. And actually, instead of a pie, I'm gonna do like a crisp, like an apple crisp or, I don't know. See how it turns out. But I do know how to cook with rocks. So I gotta find some rocks to cook this. <clears throat> that should work for a side. This is really neat rock, you know. Nice sharp stuff too. You can make uh, axes and knives out of this stuff. But I don't know if it's going to hold up to the heat. It might just blow up. I don't know. Maybe one like that. I'm just going to collect a few. Could create a landslide. Yeah, I don't know if these rocks are going to blow up or what. They're all pretty good rocks. Like I can fit them together, whatever I do. I'll just collect a few and go build the fire, try to make the pie. So I got my two sides, my back. I'm not gonna put the front on yet or the top till these rocks get hot. Then I'll put the other side on, build a fire around it and get it hotter yet on the outside. You know, when you're cooking with rocks, be careful that you don't use rocks out of a river. They blow up, even sometimes these blow up. 
be careful that you don't get injured. You wouldn't want to get a piece of shrapnel in the eye from a hot rock, that's for sure. If you got some glasses or anything, wear them when you're cooking with rocks. Sometimes, unexpectedly, they just blow up. <clears throat> this is what I got to make my blueberry crumble. Brown sugar, I got some granola bars. They said oatmeal, I looked up a recipe, they said oatmeal, whatever. Butter, two little pans to cook in. Flour, see if it's any good. It's all we can do, right? Don't even know what I'm doing, really. Never made one. Kind of an experiment, actually. Oh, hear that? One of the rocks blew. I think I need more granola bars. Probably should have washed my hands, too. Oh, well, I'm the only one eating it. So I'll tell you right now, that rock sure blew up. You know what? I think this will turn out. I think it just got to be reasonable, like, as far as... That looks good. I think I'm going to go with that. Mice are going to love me. I think that good, looks good. As far as the uh, topping on the pie. Crumble. I think we're good to go. I'm basically going to put my berries in here. I went with a rather small pot, actually. Pot, container, whatever you want to call it. Because I didn't really get a lot of berries. The berries are really not in good shape this year. So this is going to have to do a little bit of brown sugar on the berries, I think. Anything sweet in the bush is nice. The berries are sweet too, but they weren't really quite ripe. I'll tell you what, the other worry I have is um, the rocks in the fire. <laughs> they just keep exploding. I don't know if I even want to cook on that. Every time you turn around, you hear explosions. You heard the one on camera. So then you just dump your, apparently, and uh, it doesn't matter to me. You put that on there, even it out. This is what they told me. It's ready to go, but whether our fire is going to stop exploding is another question. These rocks have been exploding for the last half an hour and... Not just a little bit, they're blowing up. I'll tell you, I'll show you. But I don't know if it's gonna hold up to the heat. It might just blow up, I don't know. Like they're just shooting rocks everywhere. So I don't trust this setup that I had. Whatever rocks I was using aren't safe. I don't wanna get near this. I don't want shrapnel in my crumble. Uh, they're just blowing up like you wouldn't believe. I don't even like getting close to it, really blow up at any second it's been blowing up like just into pieces shrapnel everywhere sharp pieces yeah they're hot but look at how sharp this guy is oh, that's still hot we don't want to get a chunk like that flying into our eyes so I don't trust this I'm gonna to have to come up with a different oven yeah, I don't know if these rocks are gonna blow up or what I got to come up with a different plan. I can't be using these pop rocks. Too brittle, too dangerous. Build our fire in here, put logs across it, and that'll cook the top. And I don't care if the charcoal falls right in the, uh, the, the crisp, doesn't even matter. We can pick them off. Just like when somebody, one of your friends orders a pizza, it's got anchovies on it or olives or something you don't like no anchovies you put anchovies on this thing and you're in big trouble okay you just pick it out
We gotta get this pie done. Just got to rearrange it, get the coals to the sides. My pie is ready. I keep calling it a pie, but actually it's not a pie. It's actually a blueberry crumble. Getting little bits of charcoal in there, but I don't care. We gotta get this thing cooked up. I'm just gonna cover it with this, kinda like that, which should continue to burn. And I don't care if there's charcoal that falls in it. I'll just pick the charcoal out after. I just want the top to cook too. That's how we're gonna do it. You should not drink and bake. Well, it looks like it's browning quite nice. Just the charcoal falling in it, but that's all right. Show you what you do with that. Pretty sure it's done. Just get this out of the way. Don't want to overcook it. Almost looks a little overdone. Oof, hot to get too. Definitely cooked. Definitely done. What I say is a bit of charcoal never hurt nobody. Looks all right though, you know. A bit too much flame on the top maybe, but I'll tell you, when you're hungry, nothing like oval leafed blueberry crisp. So the taste test. Well, it's been in there about, I'd say it's been in for half an hour. And get some on the stick. You know what? I'm not even kidding. This is pretty good. Mm-hmm. Well, it's ready to fall. That is not too bad at all, I'll tell you. I love these wild blueberries. I kind of burnt the crust a little bit, but it doesn't seem to affect the flavor at all. It's really good. Grandma wouldn't have burnt the top. You saw me making it and It's actually, hmm. I'm gonna have to start making uh, pie in the bush more often. Crumble, I keep saying pie, but. Maybe not like grandma used to make, but I'll tell you if you're out in the bush, you wouldn't turn that down. So that's it for the video. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share. Uh, I've got lots of uh, videos coming up in the future. I hope you'll stay tuned to my channel. Ovens Rocky Mountain Bushcraft. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you on the next one.